Welcome to the second module of UE4 Fundamentals Volume 1. In the second module, this is where we actually begin to use UE4 to create something. And it's where we're going to cover the fundamentals, the foundation of environment creation. So we're going to begin with the most important concept to understand, and that is BSP versus static meshes, and how environments are created in UE4. We're going to cover three ways to create geometry, the use of BSP brushes, the use of static meshes, and the use of landscape. And then we'll cover the standard level creation workflow. This is a very important video, and it covers how environments should be created in UE4. Then we're going to cover creating with BSP brushes. We're going to cover the BSP brush basics for how to use BSP brushes. We'll do a simple BSP brush exercise so you get more familiar with using the BSP geometry tool. And then we'll cover more advanced usage of BSP brushes, such as using geometry editing mode. Then we'll cover another very important topic, and that is creating new environments to correct proportion and scale. And then here we're going to cover the essential architecture dimensions you need to know to get started with. And this is a very common issue to where your environments don't match the scale and proportion to the player character in game and the level just looks off. It's either too big or too small. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that and never have to worry about it again. Next, we'll go into overview of static meshes and their different mobility types. This is important to understand since each mesh that you insert into your level will have three mobility options, static, stationary, and movable. And you need to understand what each of these mean and which one to use. Then we'll cover how to create with static meshes, how to insert them, how to work with them, and how to build with them. After that, we're going to begin covering the difference between textures and materials. And there is a difference between a texture and a material in UE4, and you need to understand how each of them is used. We'll then cover working with materials and applying them onto BSP brushes. So essentially we're going to cover how to texture BSP brushes. You'll learn how to apply to a specific surface of a brush or to the entire brush, different surface properties and alignment options. And then we'll do the same thing, but this time we'll work with materials on static meshes. And the way you work with materials on BSP brushes is very different than on static meshes. So we'll cover that difference. We'll cover global versus local settings for the static mesh and how to change and override the material globally or locally. And we'll cover a few other settings and properties you need to know when working with materials on static meshes. We will then go into and begin covering lighting fundamentals. We'll start with a lighting overview and just like static meshes, each light will have a different mobility setting to choose from static, stationary, and movable. We're going to cover each one, what each one is used for, and which one you should use as the default, and when you should change to other mobility types. We will also cover how to fix a very common error with four overlapping stationary lights. We'll then cover lighting exterior scenes by using three essential actors, directional light, skylight, and atmospheric fog. And these three is what you need to light exterior environments. And having a skylight is going to be very important as it helps to illuminate the indirect lit areas, the areas in the shadows. And I'll show you what you need to make the skylight work. We'll then cover how to use and light with point lights, spotlights, and rect lights. And you'll be using these three lights to light interior scenes. I will then show you how to use and why you should use light mass importance volume. And this is something that every environment you create should have. Unless of course you're using dynamic lighting. But if you're using any type of static or stationary lights, your environments are going to need a light mass importance volume. 
We'll then cover build lighting options using preview and production lighting quality. And then I'll show you how to adjust and fix auto exposure or eye adaptation. And auto exposure is where your eyes naturally adjust when you walk from a dark environment into a bright environment or from bright environment into a dark environment. And you see this light shift from light to dark or from dark to light. And in UV4, this happens automatically in every level you create. And it's often very distracting. So I'm going to show you how to disable it so you don't get those dramatic lighting shifts. We'll then go through a lighting workflow exercise where we put the concepts, principles and techniques we've learned so far into practice. And then for the next two videos, we're going to cover the use of light maps. And these two videos are going to be very important because light maps is something you're going to be dealing with when using baked lighting. So first we're going to cover the basics of light maps, what they are, and how they are used on BSP brushes and on static meshes. And I will show you how to control the lighting and shadow quality across BSP brushes and on static meshes. And then I'm going to show you how to fix very common light map issues you're going to experience. And these are the light map seams in between static meshes. And I'm going to show you quite a few ways of hiding them, avoiding them, and minimizing them. We'll then cover inserting particle systems and what they are, how to add sound into your level by using sound waves and sound cues, and the differences between the two. And then we'll finish with how to insert and how to work with blueprints. And Blueprint is a visual scripting language in UE4. Blueprints are very powerful and this will be just a very basic introduction to what they are and what you can do with them. So in the second module, we'll really go into the fundamentals you need to begin creating with UE4. So now, let's go ahead and get started.